Hello, I'm Louisa and this is my YouTube channel, Louisa at Star Corner. I'd love for you to subscribe if you enjoy watching this and my other videos. But today I thought that I would introduce you to my vintage Rayburn, which is behind me. We installed the Rayburn last year into this ingle nook. The ingle nook was bricked up originally and it took my husband and I three to four days to actually open it all up and burrow out all the rubble that was in. The Rayburn that you see in front of you now actually started life as two Rayburns. We purchased two vintage Rayburns on eBay, had them delivered, and then my husband took them both apart and rebuilt one with all the best pieces. And um, well, it's just worked amazingly well. But what I really wanted to talk to you about today was um, how we use it. This is a work in Rayburn. It's not a toy. We actually use it to heat this room, to cook on and um, to boil the kettle. So it's in use all throughout the winter and autumn as well and, and into spring. And um, it's an invaluable tool. So using the right equipment, the right woods and fuel is really, really important. And at this point, I'm going to spin the camera around so that you can actually see how we keep the fire going, what we use, and um, what are the invaluable tools of the job. I've stepped right back here so that you can see it. It's quite a big ingle nook, quite deep. And in the far corner there's actually an old salt box which is difficult to see from here and either side of the Rayburn I have galvanized buckets full of wood and, and kindling newspapers fire lighters all sorts um, to make sure that I have everything that I need but if we go a bit closer there you can see I've got an old pair of Le Creuset oven gloves. I think the best thing to do is actually to light a fire because I haven't lit it yet this morning in anticipation of this video. So let's start with the first thing. I couldn't manage without these. These are natural fire lighters and I get these from a company called Lecto Fuels and they're absolutely invaluable. So I'm going to put two in today, but one really is, is perfectly okay. So let me open this up. There's already some newspaper in there. I'm just going to pop two fire lighters in there. And then this is a really bad attempt at cutting, cutting some kindling this morning. Normally I have a bucket of kindling, but anyway, I'm just going to pop a few bits of kindling in there as well. I really should have bought my kindling from Lecto Fuels, but I've run out. I need to place a new order. But this will be fine for now. Just a few small bits and pieces, which I chopped a few minutes ago. Next, just on top of the fire lighters and kindling, I'm going to put another couple of pieces of screwed up newspaper. When we first installed the Rayburn, we were adamant that we were going to run it for free. So we um, kept going and collecting pallets and chopping pallets up and burning pallet wood. But um, it's just not at all practical. It does take up a lot of fuel and, and pallet wood is mostly soft wood. And so it just kept burning way too fast. So we've gone, um, moved on to two other alternatives. Now the first one is just the traditional um, kiln dried piece of wood. And um, those are fine, but what we do find is they're meant to be kiln dried, but they're not always. So the moisture content is sometimes um, really quite high and therefore they don't burn very well. So the next solution is these compressed blocks, compressed logs from Lecto Woods. And um, they're great because they have a long burn life and 
they're compact, they're easy to carry. I recommended these to one of my neighbours and um, she's quite elderly and she started having them. And she finds these so much easier. They get delivered to her door, um, she just keeps them by her front door and she's really, um, it's really easy just to go and pick up a few of these and take them through to her fire. Much better than lugging big chunks of wood around um, that has to be stored outside so that's great for her but anyway we currently do a mixture of both um, they both work out roughly around the same cost but actually for reliability the lecto wood compressed blocks are much much better because as i said you can never quite tell about the moisture content of these now with the um, fire lighters and also the kindling in there and some newspaper, I'm going to pop one of these in as well. Unfortunately, I've only got one of these left. I really do need to put in an order with Lecto Fuels. But anyway, for the sake of um, demonstrating how these work, I'm just going to pop one of these in. And with my trusty matches, I always do like to have a nice matchbox by my fire. So let's go. So I'm going to light one of the fire lighters. Off it goes. Make sure that the air vent down here is open. And that's the start of my fire. Brilliant, I can see that that's going and there's some good flames there. The main thing is really when you first light it is that you build up a good core of heat at the bottom and then throughout the day you can just add more kiln dried logs or lecto fuel and um, as long as you've got a hot core that that will just keep going all day. Occasionally I let it die down too much so that's easy to rectify. I just throw in another fire lighter and that gets it going again. So that's it, it's now a light and as long as I keep feeding it, it will stay alight all day. Um, occasionally it has been known for me to let it go out or nearly go out. So if it's nearly gone out but there's still some hot embers, I simply throw in another fire lighter, another one of the natural fire lighters and that just makes it go bush and um, starts it going again. So start the process again, throw some kindling in, throw some more um, paper if necessary uh, and just um, bring it to life again. But there is one thing that I absolutely couldn't do without and um, if you were going to buy two things from Lecto Fuels, I really recommend the fire lighters and I really recommend the night logs. So uh, I'll show you a night log. These are the night logs and um, these are absolutely fantastic. So I use these for two purposes. One is if I'm popping out and um, I'm going to be out for a couple of hours and I can't keep feeding the log burner. Um, I'll throw a couple of these in and it will keep the log burner going until I come back in and therefore I can just throw on some more of the um, logs and um, start the fire going again but that will really keep it going. And secondly I put two of these on, um, on when I go to bed at night and I come down in the morning and there are still hot embers throw a couple of fire lighters in, throw some kindling in and um, off we go again. If you wanted to know more about the efficiency of the compressed bricks, I actually made a different YouTube video last year and that's available to watch. So I'll put a link in the description. And um, that was a, an experiment made in controlled conditions and it really demonstrated how effective the compressed bricks are. And I have to say, I wouldn't give a single hesitation with regards to using any of the Lecto Wood Fuels products. Um, they're a great company to deal with and so far everything I've had is really, really good and uh, really beneficial.